Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching Introduction to Veeam Backup and Replication. In this lesson, we'll do two things. We'll start off with a feature overview of Veeam Backup and Replication. I'll talk about the different features and benefits that make up that product. From there, we'll move on to a demo where I'll show you a working Veeam Backup and Replication server before we start the installation and configuration process for ourselves. And with that, let's get started. So let's talk about the different features that make Veeam Backup and Replication unique. First off, it's a backup and replication product all in one, in one interface, not just a backup product alone. And I think this is a really cool feature to add into a backup product. So it will backup your virtual infrastructure, but then it will also replicate those backups to an alternate site. So let's say you had another company location and you had a wide area network between the two or a VPN tunnel over the internet, Veeam Backup and Replication could replicate your backup data over to that alternate site in case you had a disaster at the primary location. That's really cool and it's a great way to get your backups offsite without having to move them onto a physical tape. Secondly, Veeam Backup supports ESX and ESXi both and it uses the proven fast SCP engine. If you've used the free Veeam Fast SCP product before, you know that it provides direct-to-target backups, network traffic compression, and backup processing offload when backing up ESX or Linux servers. So it's a really reliable framework for moving data securely across a network, and Veeam Backup uses that framework. Now, there's no VCB requirement or no VMware consolidated backup requirement when you're using Veeam Backup like some other backup products do that aren't as integrated with VMware vSphere. Veeam Backup provides image level backup and recovery, as well as file level recovery for Windows and Linux servers. Now one of the newest features of Veeam Backup is the Enterprise Management Console. It allows you to have a distributed backup infrastructure so that you have one centralized management interface to control all of your Veeam Backup servers. So let's say that you had 10 data centers around the world and a Veeam Backup server at each data center to back up the virtual infrastructure. You could then monitor and control all that using the Enterprise Manager. Now Veeam Backup also has native support for vSphere, which includes features like change block tracking for fast incremental backup. It supports thin provision disk and vApp support. It provides data consistent backups for application level recovery. What that really means is it uses Microsoft's VSS or Volume Shadow Services to quiesce file systems and applications, assuming you have the right operating system, to ensure that those applications will be fully recoverable once they're backed up. Veeam Backup provides data deduplication and near CDP replication, which means that Veeam's replication features come close to those very expensive hardware-based continuous data protection replication feature sets that you find on Enterprise SANS. Lastly, Veeam Backup provides replica rollback, which means that you could roll a virtual machine back to a point in time when one of the more recent replicas was taken. You don't have to wait for the previous night's backup, let's say. So those are the features of Veeam Backup and Replication. It's a really powerful feature set, and I'll be demonstrating all these features in this video series. So at this point, I'd like to give you a demo of what Veeam Backup and Replication looks like, just a quick tour so that you can see the product for yourself. All right, this is my Veeam Backup and Replication server that I've been testing all the demonstrations in this video on. This Veeam Backup server is running on my virtual infrastructure in my lab network, and you can see it's running here on the fictitious Wired Brain Coffee Company's virtual infrastructure. We've got two ESX servers, we've got three data stores, and one virtual center server. You can see here that performing a backup is as easy as adding a server, creating a job, and then running that job. If we go up here to the backup jobs, you can see I've created one backup job here, and the last result was that it was successful. If we go into the backups list here, you can see that I've got a backup I completed here of the Veeam Reporter virtual machine. There's two restore points, and if we wanted to restore it, we just click restore here and go through the restore wizard. So creating a backup job and restoring image level backups is real easy. If you want to use Veeam Replication, you can go up here to the replication feature, which starts the replication wizard. You can also perform virtual machine copies and file copies as well. So that's a quick demo of Veeam Backup and Replication. I know the interface looks real simple, and that's because, honestly, it's a very simple product that has many powerful features underneath the sheets. So in this video series, I'll be showing you how to add servers, how to create backup jobs, how to restore virtual machines at the image level and file level, 
how to perform replications, as well as a number of other very cool features. With that, let's go back to our slides. All right, and that brings us to the end of this introduction video. In this video, I talked about the features that make up Veeam Backup and Replication. Features like data deduplication, ESXi support without VCB, file level recovery, the Enterprise Management Console, near CDP replication, and replica rollback. From there, I showed you a quick demo of what the Veeam Backup and Replication interface looks like, and that brings us to the end of this video. After this, I'll be showing you how to download and install Veeam Backup, and then from there, we'll start our configuration process, and then I'll be walking you through how to perform these various tasks using Veeam Backup and Replication. Thanks for watching.